Okay, I'm gonna throw you a curveball. This is just loose conjecture on my part, but I think what Tomino was going for was something slightly different. So, um, you know how back in the like late 70s, like early 80s, we like technology was advancing at a super fucking fast rate, right? Yes, and yeah, it still is. Courtesy of the Cold War and all, all that stuff, um, really like peaked in the night in the 90s, but then we went we went to uh, Afghanistan and that kind of slowed everything to a fucking crawl. Well, Afghanistan. Well, more so. Well, actually, Iraq. Sorry about that. But no, they have the same thing. It was a war economy that really slowed us down. Well, more not a war economy, a fucking occupation economy that really slowed us to a crawl. Thanks, Bush. Sorry. This country will fall apart if we don't continue with the two war structure. So I the literal chain of quote. <laughs> two war structure. Literal chain of quote from like 2012 or 2014. I can believe that. Fucking bad, man. Anyway, um, so back then they like technology was advancing at a rate that theoretically we probably would have been. Like, like deep into space, probably by like 2000, if it t continued at that rate. The problem was with the slowdown of, of the Clinton years and um, various wars that we ended up up in. So I think... Was it Clinton that fucked NASA? Oh, I need to move out of the way. No, d Clinton, like, as far as I know, Democrats... Or was it Reagan who fucked up literally everything forever? Reagan fucked up a lot of things, really. Um, Clinton sl sort of set us on a bad path with, like, having money... More represent like debt rather mo more so than gold. That really fuck up our economy, kind of. Um, uh, how, how Shoot down a thousand enemies. Reagan really like more so like brought down like the idea of like advancing technology and more so on just American patriotism. Because at that point it was more Press like the F to, s uh, to sell nukes to Iran. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Call of Duty Cold War. I love that so much. But Re Reagan really did slow it down. And it's not so much Reagan's fault. Reagan himself is whatever. It's more so the Republicans at the time. Because that's when it became really fucking partisan. Like, it, that's kind of where a lot of our modern problems stem from. You know, fucking... That's the common that the I'm going to ignore ignore the, uh, the AIDS crisis because of the gay panic. Yeah. Oh, no. Literally. Okay, I know... Okay. We're progressives. We we both acknowledge that Biden's a shit. It's gonna be a shit president, and we're not. He's really, not gonna do anything. Nothing is fundamentally gonna change anything. By the way, yes, this is a little very, quote. This is a, this is a very political uh, playthrough, guys, because of the whole content content matter of the series and everything. Just very aware of that. Subject matter, whatever. Um, so um, we acknowledge that Biden's not really gonna do anything. But unfortunately, he yes, also he said himself. Yeah. The, uh, with the mass criminalization of weed, especially back in the 80s, that really slowed things down. It really sucks. Uh, it's just a testament to how things were going back then. The whole uh, Just Say No movement by Reagan's wife. <laughs> I really hate that bitch more, more than Reagan himself. Despite the fact that Reaganomics is com a complete fucking farce with trickle-down economics. It's because Just Say No makes you people, people want to do more. It sends more people to prison. Thus, uh, furthering, uh, increasing the prison economy of for, uh, labor and production that cost them nothing. It also arguably... Cost them uh, less than slave labor in third world countries. It also arguably turned people more towards cocaine and actual bad shit like heroin. Yes, because the Just Say No tempts people more. It tempts people more and also makes it so that, like, mostly, like, it also obviously creates a whole two party uh or like two tier uh, uh just, just system. system yeah but anyway yeah that's just like us like a really if things continued from how um people are gonna get really mad at this playthrough probably but, but like, i'm here for it i'm an old man i've seen some shit J trust me guys this is how it was generally going back then this is like an example of like why we are where we are um as someone if things who's continued from how mccarthyism who the fuck was that who was that guy that was uh, who was our president before Reagan? Uh, the, the really cool uh, human, human, humanitarian president. Carter. Carter, yeah. If things continue from Carter, we would probably be having this shit actually happening by 2045. But unfortunately, with the way things were, <laughs> let's take focus on science and more so on my, my economy. What the hell is uh, the policy where if anyone has any business or owings or dealings, that if they run for office, they have to uh, cut ties with them. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It has a, it has a fucking word. Um, Carter had to sell off his peanut, peanut farm. farm. Yes. I hate that. So, God. And then Trump didn't do it. And Trump didn't do shit. 
And they would just let him keep on going. Thank you, Republican led Senate. Awesome. Uh, Shoot Mitch boy. McConnell. Yep, yeah. Lost yeah. out Mitch. <laughs> I regret nothing that not, I stay not, here. Not, not even so much that, just murder Mitch because of the of the actual obvious NRA dealings. Anyway, sorry. And I will not let any money go into the Americans' hands during COVID relief. No. Okay. And also, if you try to, s and also, you're not allowed to sue them if they got you killed. God forbid we try to help our constituents, but but you know, get, getting a vote for us, but but getting a new Supreme Court justice in after Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, absolutely. Oh, hey, there he is. It's hey, Amro. There he finally is. We got so derailed. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> We're doing the same mission twice, but from the opposite side. We can talk about whatever the hell we want. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to remember most of uh, the bullet points about Battle of Solomon. Oh, right! The, the Nightmare of Solar Array! Oh, we can talk about what we were going to bring up first. The Nightmare of Solomon, a guy who wouldn't end up actually making his move until 0083. Right. Him. Sparky. Yep, Sparky. Gato. This stage is still going. Yeah. Um, and the terrible fucking shit that is Nina. Oh my god, fuck her. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nina, the woman who chose uh, a man who openly participates in mass genocide rather than the Co, who, granted, he's a bit of a manlet, but he is not a person who sides with genocide. And also, he stole your he stole one of your Gundams and got it destroyed. Tell me was kind of bad with woman representation. <laughs> he's kind of worried about, about it. I'm thinking that he that since all that since that came out later he wrote uh, he wrote it literally just uh, to try justify to, it yeah yeah just to try to prove his points retroactively in Zeta yeah um, obviously we'll talk more about it in Zeta itself but just as a prequel yeah it's uh, it's I honestly saw his memory just kind of sucks in general yes it's pretty but it's fucking stupid it is probably. With the blue release, the most beautifully drawn thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And also one of the worst told stories I've ever seen in my entire life. Ugh, how? It's amazing they managed to pull it off. Oh boy. Oh, we're getting to see Slugger side. <laughs> Sweet. Cool. Or is this actually the same scene? <laughs> <laughs> the toes are anti air missiles. <laughs> Dude, he crash landed to him right. He kamikaze him right in the dick. Also, yeah, Slugger Law is a fucking Chad. Yes, okay, who deserves that's so over. much better? Oh, oh okay. Apparently, didn't affect me at all. Okay, my penis is still very big with this. Oh yeah, you got this. <laughs> this is your mission. Sorry. Oops. Okay. Destroying arm. Okay. <laughs> and then there's the whole solar array system, which is that thing in the back. That um. Why is it shaped like a cross? So, Earth Federation is also no stranger to uh, Geneva Convention violations. We'll get there. Well, this is also the start of it, too. Uh, super weapons and all that fun stuff. They constructed the solar array system. I don't really know what the impetus for it was, like it, how long it had in development for, like what actual intended uses for it, but essentially is a mass array of solar panels that absorb sunlight and then fire it back as one giant condensed beam. That's what the giant fuck-off beam really was, by the way, guys. I think Xeon then steals it and uses it for themselves in the next mission. I think. Don't trust so, uh, solar panels in Gundam because they're always up to something fucky. <laughs> Clearly. Like in uh, like in Victory Gundam, where they use where the League Militaire uses solar panels to give everyone in the Zanskar Empire a headache all at once. Oh. Make, give them a migraine, make them all have to pee at the exact same time, so that way, so that way they can't fight. Really? <laughs> there, there was, however, like a cool callback to it with, um, dub, uh, with, you know what, I might as well just use this. With, um, 0083. That was one of the few things I like about 0083, besides Sparky himself. Uh, they were going to magnify the cannon that was going to fire on Earth or something. They, they had to use the solar array system to actually take out the, the, the colony. colony that was good to be dropped on Earth. Because yeah. if there's another thing you'll always see with Xeon, it's colony drops. Every single time. Every fucking time. Australia's gone. Ireland's gonna gone. be gone in Double Zeta. They tried it again in CCA with Axis. 
I know they do it later on too, uh, at some point in the UC timeline as well. Doesn't Game Gundam try it at some point? No. He. I, I don't know what the hell Game Gingham wants other than honorous. No, no, not even honorous. Uh, oh, shit, glorious we're battle. Oh shit! Yeah. We're, they actually use that sound effect here. It's kind of cool. Which one? Th that sound effect. Like that weird, like yo, oh. like that weird calling sound. Right. Okay. So, first of the new type focused uh, mechs that you actually see in this series, and it looks stupid. Oh, the Zeong. No, it's not the Zeong. That's uh, that that's Charge. This is right. just like a small little spacecraft. Oh, it's not a mech. Sorry, that's the wrong. That's the wrong wording. Saikamu. Really? This early? This really? early? No yes. fucking. No La way. Lala uses. I don't think she the uses fin funnels. What the hell is she using? The the swordfish. Right. Oh no, she was using like fin funnels, but they're like a wired up. I think. Huh. Yeah. Jeez. They've they've had this shit going back a while. And yeah, I know Saikamu won't become really big until Saikamu is di is different from a psycho frame. Psych. No. Fu oh my. No. Fuck. Oh boy, I'm taking you down war flashbacks. No, Saikamu is what's in the psycho Gundam. That means that Lala is the pr is the proto cyber new type, and she's oh. in an experimental weapon, of course, an experimental new type weapon. Of course she is. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! I didn't realize that. That's um, that's some top vent right there. <sighs> okay, this is fun. Yes. <laughs> Only coming up on two hours now. She looks weird in a normal suit. You got a bod. I'll say that for a fact. Yeah. They hear Char likes younger women. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Technically, yes. Because she's like 18 and he's 20 or 21. He's like 20 here, yeah. This isn't the worst thing ever. Yes, he, he's drinking at 20 because in Japan the legal drinking age is 20 even though he's not Japanese. <laughs> but it's made in Japan. It's made in Japan land, so therefore Japanese law applies everywhere. <laughs> okay. God, where 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 do you even begin talking about Char and Lala? Oh boy. Well, for starters, she could have become a mother to him. Mm. New type mother. <laughs> okay. There was, uh... I can almost believe that. When they met in the origin, Shara saved her from the... Human trafficker, or whatever that guy was. The guy that had the psych... Uh, the telekinetically controlled chakram. Right. That, I remember that, yeah. That I don't know what the hell that was about, but he had a bladed ring that he was able to throw and control with his mind. Really gotta keep watching Origin. Fucking hell. That was early on, too. Yeah, I did watch that, but it's been eight... I don't think I've touched Origins since, like, 2017, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the, 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 It's been an actual turning in half for me. <sighs> okay, so where are we? Okay, we're broaching the final battle, but we're not there yet. This is a very narrow stage. Yeah, I think it's gonna open... definitely gonna open up in a minute or two. So, you are well equipped by another Brad Swale suit. <laughs> yes, I am. I am uh, equipped by another Gundam man. These are not balls. What are they? That's a great question, actually. Ugh. Wait, are these the things that Lala controls, like in her uh, weird ass uh, the swordfish? Yeah. yeah uh, yes. Maybe. I, for a second, I thought these were F ninety ones uh, bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, now, you know, I would not put it past Game Game, or Game Game, no, Gear didn't do that. that. Uh, no, that was a, those were weird fucking weapons of death. Fr uh, frisbee bud saws. That hunt down, like, human life forms and kill them. I How think I, weirdly specific. I, th I think they were heat-seeking. But, uh, yeah, that's... Okay. I oh. mean, at least they can fit into tight crevices? Yeah, I guess so. By the way, a cool thing about your uh, burst awakening in this game, I don't know what it's called, I'll have to call that. Uh, burst mode. Burst, burst mode is that you can actually cancel it. If you pre press R2 again, you can cancel it uh, mid-activation. 
Very few games do that. Very few games are are lean enough to let you do that, and frankly, it is a very neat touch. I wish more games did, especially Berserk Muso. Holy crap! The only other game I can think of offhand that I know does that is Pirate Warriors 2. Oh Jesus! Not three, and of course not four. Threes is last long enough. You don't really need to, need to worry about canceling it. Twos, yeah, definitely. Three starts short, but the more you use it, the longer it gets. Yeah. <laughs> I love the long narrow beam that is that is this. Which would become ever more common the further we go. Yeah. You know, I just realized, I actually don't know, like... Okay, so obviously Amuro specs more into, like... <laughs> Johnny uh, Johnny Raiden from Johnny Mobile Johnny Raiden does variations. appear in this. Uh, which is funny, because he's a DLC character. Yeah. He appears in, like, a lot of levels, actually. He interacts with Shark a lot, especially in, like, Solomon and Aboku. And then, and then the ultimate mode. Yeah, it's so bizarre, because, like, you don't get any DLC, like, anywhere else for a story, but not very randomly here, at least on the middle. No. Hey, C doesn't have any... C doesn't have any DLC, does it? No. You, you, you would think the emphasis on C would get some more DLC stuff, but no. Weird. No, it's... Mo it's entirely UC. That is so bizarre. And... Yeah, it's entirely UC. I was gonna say... No, 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 the double O does have the... Act does get the quantum. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you, yes, and uh, the wing gun... The wing gun, gun gets the endless waltz. Yes. And we also do get the crossbow. Yes. That, but that's that, UC uh, as that well. That's UC. That, yeah, that's fair, yeah. And, huh. uh, and uh, the gunpla thing. Yeah. The uh, bear guy. But we don't get anything new for C. Like, obviously... C thank, thank Christ not. C, C for us in the West, obviously, is a bit of a shit show, but, like... C you went from... I'm, I'm... Oh my god, the frame dips! Thank Christ they didn't, because Gundam Seed went from, in the last game, having five characters to 40 in this game. Yeah. And I'm not even kidding. Oh, by the way, yes, you do have a block button in this game. You never really use it, but hey, it's there if you're fighting a really, really hard boss. Yes. <laughs> oh, here comes the here, here comes the Sudoku. <laughs> they do this so much. Yeah, in later non UC, it's so stupid. <laughs> How was that Amaro's problem? Yeah, right. Uh, he's already tried to kill Amaro several times. I, I think it's more so because like Sh uh, Amaro knows about the connection between Lala and Char, but Char doesn't know that Amaro is the Gundam pilot yet. No. I don't think he realizes that until, like, actually during this very encounter, if you not think about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because that was, like, a whole... That was a very interesting setup how they did that. All right, let's a miracle see. they were able to do that for the time. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Devil 79 does have to introduce a lot of really cool concepts, and but it doesn't really play with it a lot. You know what I mean? It doesn't... Outside of, like, a handful of, like, uh, obvious ideas. It throws some stuff out there, but does not actually act on them. But it does iterate on them later on, in later series. It's really hard to like pinpoint exactly like how much of this is the fault of the trouble, very, oh, okay, the very troubled production of, of uh, seventy nine. Can we talk about that? Let's talk about that. It's hard not to. There's a. Uh, let's see. So first of all, it started before it even. Uh, there was trouble before it even began with how they had to redesign the Gundam itself several times because the sponsors wanted a multicolored toy that they could sell, but Tomino, but Tomino wanted a toy that was uh, white and gray. Right, I forgot about that. That would make it look like the Mark II. Okay. Yeah, kind of. That would be more cool, actually. Huh. The uh, the stage is still going. You're taking damage. Oh, is it? Oh. Hold on. The, uh, bye bye. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, the Gundam was originally going to be called the Gun Boy. <laughs> oh, man. That's, um... That was a change for the better. That's a, that's some top tier bully this in school material. <laughs> this that's a name that's going to that's going to ensure a forty year legacy. Yep, definitely. Uh, there's the fact that the lead animator got sick, got uh, was hospitalized ten or fifteen ep uh, about ten episodes in, so that's why every episode afterwards looks like irrefutable garbage, and why one of them was so bad it literally had to be cut from the lineup. Yeah. Tomino was that embarrassed of Kukuru's Doan's Island. Which is funny because that's a character that gets pulled back 
in so many games, it's practically a marketing point. I do like callbacks, but it just, it just feels like abuse. This, uh, this character is now, uh, is now in this game. That they're crap, they're, they're completely useless, and their stats are garbage because they're using a Zaku 1 from 0079. But they're, but they're there! They play our game! game. Yep. Huh, I remember him actually upgrading to, uh... That's a, it's not... Uh, 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 Galgu. Huh, he, he does already have a Galgu, that's kinda cool. Oh, I guess it makes sense. He, he did, Oops. he does. Oopsie! Friendly fire, no! I forgot that he actually did upgrade to the... Shark upgrades ships quite a lot, actually, now that I think about it. I thought he was stuck with the Zaku 2 for the longest time. The Zaku 2, the Zgok, the Galgu, and the Zeong. Excuse me. Here you go. And thus, what is initially a pretty heartfelt tragedy because my war is going to be rammed into the fucking ground, unfortunately. It would be a very defining feature of Amuro's character for many years to come. I like the PTSD angle. I don't like how it's run into the fucking ground. You don't need to give her a speaking role every time he has the flashback. Yeah. You also don't need to have her and Shor her somehow magically appear inside Full Frontal's head when he's actually doing his Neo Zeong bullshit. If there's anything to be good to be had from this though, it is that this does trigger. She doesn't look over the hair, I don't know, sort of. It that anything? is way longer than the bun would imply. Yeah, no kidding. That's some fucking. I had yeah, like, a good uh, analogy for that, whatever. I was gonna say Artoria, but I'm like, no, no, that hair's kinda on par. Sean? From where? From fate? Yeah, yeah. She has the hair that looks short from the front, but then you see the braid going down to her feet in the back. Yeah, it's a, that's a fair analogy. She has a lot now to think about it. It's <laughs> a funny idea. Anyway, yeah, this would actually fully kick off Amuro's uh, new type abilities. Until now, he's mostly just been getting better and better as a pilot, and the sensory angle has been there, but not as a forefront thing. This would really kick in overdrive. It will actually awaken Char's abilities as well. Does he have a picture of a gun on his belt? That doesn't look like an actual gun. That's I think it's supposed to be like an emblem or something, but I don't know what the hell it is. Weird. Huh. Oh right! Obviously, the thing we should be talking, we should have—I think we mentioned in passing already—is that this, uh, this telling of uh, 79 does utilize a lot of clips from various places. A lot of it is redrawn stuff from various places. Uh, a lot of it's probably from the trilogy movies. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That wouldn't have looked that much better coming out only four years after the original series did on TV. Was it actually done that fast afterwards? Yeah, it was 82 to 83. Huh, well that shit. Yep. So the, the movies were produced before Zeta was. Alright then. Because that was how they got their funding for Zeta, their approval. Oh, and here's the fuck shit. Because this really sh shows that... Oh yeah, that was Degwin and the, ge and, uh, the General, General Revel. Getting, fu uh, getting fucked by Giren. If there was any indicator that the Battle of Boku was going to be a complete fucking mess in a bloodbath, that was it. Because the leading commanders of both armies just got killed with one spell suit by Giren.